During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio, control settings, and your sanity. It's perfectly normal and should not cause any alarm, any for alarm or psychiatry. Wonderful. This better scare me. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Breaking bad, Tom. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. I take it I'm supposed to go and ask information. I would not leave my kid in the car, though. That's just not me. Where are we? Atlantic Island Park. Bingo! Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees prepare the park for shutdown. Press left mouse button to interact with the worlds. Find out all the things. And I find out why she left her kid in the car. Here we go. What? No, it's a one to two hour game. That comes right from the hey, um, PR Lorraine. department. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. And think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. I think your boy just ran into the park. Hi, Tim Shock. I'll lock the gates for you. Press the right mouse button to shout to Callum. <clears throat> Wait for mommy, Callum. This way, Callum. mommy. Callum, Callum. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side. How lazy am I that I won't walk up the lies. escalator to catch up to my kid? Other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. <clears throat> Press shift to toggle running. Why am I in a closed park? You've seen just as much as I have. Lost here. Kid was in the car. He said he lost his teddy bear. I'm assuming because we left the park. And he left his teddy bear in the park. You can't catch me. Callum! I walked up you go? to the information booth. And... Callum ran inside. So now we're going to get him. Hi, Mari. Callum, come back here right now. It's the first thing he said. I want to go back here. Like, I know we're supposed to be chasing our kid, right? But how can I walk away from this? Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. 
Come out, sweetie. Over here. Scared me. Wait for mommy. Catch me, I think this belongs to Kelm. I'm doing very well, Mari. Thank you for asking. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the chipmunk, worse in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die, useless slob. Alright. Chipmunk's a little fucking creepy. Not gonna lie. Hello? Over here. What's this? I can't read that. I can't even see that. What the hell? Purchase the land on Swanson Island for a pin. I might add whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals just to mention just the mention of his name and people. What is that noise? Slamming doors and locking shutters for the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyer had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally who took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you are planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter. Stop with the weird whispering. Oh my God. Oh God. But the, the, the something here is better with a curse carried from is laden with a curse carried from the old country. And when Henderson, he did terrible, old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I discussed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by the pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have great vision for this place and they will see that vision through the very end. Atlantic Island pa Park. The name is perfect and I can't imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Oh, God. Don't hide from me, Callum. Over here. Look, I need clues, Elvis. Uh, sure, if Tenshox or Catnap can permit you, that would be awesome. SFK. Callum, tell Mommy where you are. So, Callum, stay where you are. Am I the only person Come that on, get, mommy. that gets creeped out by amusement parks? Thank you, Tenshot. Hey, Taylor. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Callum, where did you go? Callum, where did you go? 
Oh my. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. I don't want to be in here anymore. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. This I tell is you fucking what, husband, creepy. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow <gasps> and abandon them. What the fuck them was there. that? No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the Chad's children looking at me. Then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Oh man. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Guys. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents. I'm not alone in here, you know. You're all in here home, with me. The children wandered in the forest for three days. So I'm safe. I want off of this swan. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly like this, strange like this. house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes <clears throat> of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Mouse. I'm at home and safe. No, you're in here with me. At my house. An old woman emerged. Think of regretting reading the Wikipedia page on amusement park, right? Incidents earlier today. No, no. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Ten shocks! Ten shocks! Oh, so much <laughs> but Hansel and Gretel stared just back, sent me a message. the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Why would you Come, do that? Children, don't be afraid. Why would you I see that to me? For you. The old woman offered I two so enormous much right now. Pops. The children <sighs> took them and began to eat. <sighs> you see, nothing to fear here. <clears throat> Come inside. <laughs> I hate you, Ted. So much. Oh, hey, guys. <sighs> you could have sent a Steam message. Totes could have. I'm going to immerse in your butt.
That scared the crap out of me. I don't even want to go back to it. All right. Okay. We're okay. The old woman urged. I'm at office Children hours. I can't be jumping out of my sweet. chair. Followed. No, thank you, Ten Sharks. Thank you so ah! very much. Damn it. House, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. That was a sarcastic thank you, Ten. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat. You just wait, Fearing mister. the day that the witch would eat him, the witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Is it, is it bad that opening? as my heart rate starts to steady, Fool. I get images of Shawl jumping out the of his chair? <laughs> and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed, Hey Wolfie, and bent, how are you? The children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then they ate her because they were really hungry. And then because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Holy shit, I was just kidding! I've never seen that in the... in the books. Why is the no in the thing and no? I'm sorry, Charles. I can't help myself. Kind of amusement park is this man? I will have you know that I am still shaking on the inside. Hansel and Gretel. That was me. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate no, not terrible really, places where the tree branches reach like claws. Callum! <laughs> where are you? Another accident. This place. Ah! Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I just deduced what was needed for the... This is horrible. <clears throat> for the something writings... Band writings to Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a something of 
Positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative. I think that says negative. And that caused some of the something that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistake very soon. I will know if this has been for nothing. One job, teddy bear. One job. Hey! He's got something in his eyeball. Holy crap. Can we get an unblur tool? I know, right? Like, I'm literally, I feel like a little old lady. I'm sitting up on the computer screen, squinting and trying to read what that is saying and still not getting it all. Callum, where are you? <laughs> Callum, come back here right now! Bear is driving. How could that be? Come back. I know they said this game was like an hour to two hours, but I don't think they took into it. thing used to make the blood run to my head. Account for it um. Dizzy. Scream alert. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. <clears throat> Eyewitness report. Atlantic Island Park incident. Officer on duty. Sheriff F. Bannerman. Witness name Norma Creed. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit weary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyways, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the, the ice. And at first, we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face, smiling out of the block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab, 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 stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Oh, good lord! What are we doing here? Why are we even here? Oh my gosh, this is so bad! Why would we even come here? I don't know if it's because I've seen so many horror movies, but amusement parks always freak me out. Like, I always, even though I can have fun in an amusement park, I always have, like, this uneasy, yucky feeling. I can't get on while it's moving. Nope, nope, nope. Wolfie's out. <laughs> Why am I riding all the rides? What is wrong with me? They did a really good job of making you feel like you're on the ride, though. So you can get on while it's moving, you just need more determination. What is going on? What is going on? Ah! What the fuck is that? Mmm! That was-
wasn't there before? That was not. Was that there? Has that always been there? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. How did I not see that before? How? No, that couldn't have been there from the beginning, was it? No, definitely not. Holy shit. Holy shit. Fucking A. It's not going fast enough. It's going plenty fast enough. Let me off. I want off. I know for a fact I can get off a moving ride. I just need to put forth the effort. Motherfucker. There's so much nope right now. You laugh, Mari. You're here with me. I'm running into the, the fence. Caleb, now is not the time. Oh, I remember I... this. What you doing? Caleb, stop. Doing. Playing a game. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations. I'm not going on it again. What kind of crack are you smoking? No he was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, How's all the, the horrors and goodness that followed, oh, man. built on a single traitorous thought. So far, you've left your kid in the car unattended, forgotten his name, and while looking for him, you stop every couple of minutes to read all the trash and ride all the rides. I'm not one to question your parenting skills, but you may be just a little bit irresponsible here. <laughs> what is this? Where can I submit myself to get adopted? Where did you go? I'm gonna catch you and then I'm gonna paddle your ass for running away from me and making me go through this damn amusement park, you little punk. I raised you better than that. You got mommy freaking out. Callum, stay where you are! Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. These bumper cars don't look safe. Why do I get the feeling I'm gonna be in here and like the bumper cars are gonna start up and start running my ass over or something stupid? I is scared. Not gonna lie. I'm really happy about this game so far. I haven't been this afraid in a game in like forever. Good job, Funcom. Good job. Okay. That's fine. Oh god, there was... Is there accidents on every ride? Do I really want to read this? Oh gosh. Employee name? Francis Dufresne. 
October 25th, 1976. Job title, laborers working on the crane, supervisor Richard Stapleton, witness Lawrence Creed and Michael Edgeworth. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Oh my god. Francis was killed. Did the injury make the employees see a doctor? Yes. If yes, did you file an employer's portion of workers' compensation? Yes. Supervisor's comments. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing this. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent the incident? Double checking the straps after transit would be mandatory, should be mandatory, and drug screening for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Nice. Yeah! GTBs, what's going on, buddy? No! I can't move! I can't move! I can't move! <laughs> I told you! Wah. This is doing weird things to my head right now. But you are GTB. I just saw you type. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. Oh, God. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of Ferris wheels. Oh man, it's gonna make me get on a Ferris wheel, isn't it? I can't read this! Continuously delayed by the incompetence of the builders the something is that the problem is that they are locals and so they believe a lot of the somethings about what old man Henderson used to do here they grew up on these tales every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing these fools are crossing themselves against the black cursing themselves against the black mind of course that is why I chose the site over all other potential something islands something islands is a nexus for dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here it makes my skin crawl this is really hard to read I called a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plan that I am missing. I love Ferris wheels. The views are amazing. I don't do heights. What happened on the bumper cars? I missed it. 
um, a bumper, a, like a rogue bumper car came flying out at us and it looked like it was going to hit us and then it didn't. Um, alright, so I have a love-hate, I guess would be the way to explain it with the Ferris wheel. I love the views that you get from a Ferris wheel. I love that just being above everything and, and, and looking down. Um, with that being said, I don't do heights very well. I have a fear of falling. So the whole time I'm in a Ferris wheel, I'm enjoying myself, but I'm also terrified at the same time. So like, I will be hanging on to, like if, if you're in like one of those gondola Ferris wheels where it's all like round and there's a pole in the center and people sit around in a circle, uh, I'll be like hanging on to the pole very, very tightly gripped the whole entire time. If I'm on the swingy Ferris wheel things, you know, like the, the standard ones, those are fucking scary <laughs> because I always feel like we're going to swing just a little too much and I'm going to be one of those statistics that falls out. So yeah, I love Ferris wheels, but I hate Ferris wheels. So my question is, are they going to make us ride the Ferris wheel? Exclamation point game question mark JTBs. You're a mod. You should know this. Child, behave thine self. Naughty, naughty. You forgot the question mark, Wolfie. What do you mean it didn't work? You guys are butts. Oh, it didn't work. Hang on. Don't reverse them, you goofs. That's the command. And it's enabled. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It looks like Yomi Bot might be broken. Hang on. Hang on. Not the command itself. There it goes. Mm. This game is very scary. It's a, it's an atmospheric game. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty fucking scary already. And we just started. Spamming it isn't going to help. YomiBot's not connecting with Twitch. Like, he's in the channel. I can see it all. I'll read it to you. YomiBot, it'll fix itself. Um, So, it's a one to two hour long game that focuses entirely on storytelling and exploration instead of combat and action. It's similar to games such as Gone Home, Dear Esther, and The Stanley Parable. In that its aim is to tell a short but intense story. It's set in a creepy amusement park called Atlantic Island Park, and you play a mother whose son's gone missing at the park. The further you get into the game, the more spoiler-heavy it becomes, so please keep this in mind if you plan on playing it. Come back, bot. We love you, bot. <laughs> Don't leave us, bot. All right. Fuck the bot. Let's do this. We're going to ride the Ferris wheel, and if that creepy guy comes out again, I just, I don't even know if I can handle it. Uh, see, like, these ones I don't mind as much. They don't seem to be shaking. I don't know, Master Gander. I'll check it, though. P. 
People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different. Elvis, I did not shoot Yomi Bot. Was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. This is Yomi Bot. He came in with some workers, but he the didn't other one was Yomi Bot. He's still alive. I just don't know where he is. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. No, 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 like no, 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 no. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. No. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Keep going. No Don stopping. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. What? Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I would have not gotten on Callum. the fucking fair. What? Oh Fairy god! Tale fucking over. Why would I get on the Ferris wheel if my ex like died on a Ferris wheel? So I created a stencil type design for the shirts. It looks to work with most colors, although... Hey, 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 hey! There's a guy in the booth! That guy's in the booth! Why is that guy always in the booth? And why does he look like some kind of villain from the 1950s? Looks to work with most colors, although it's subject to matter of opinion. Alright. Well, I mean, we could try it. Let's see? I appreciate your work on it. This is true, Elvis. We have established that the character tends to make bad decisions. That Ferris wheel is going so fast. Like, for a ferris wheel, that's pretty fucking fast. So what would have been cool here is if they added like a random spooky figure in one of the cars. Kind of like a little easter egg. Alright, it's making me dizzy as shit though. So we're leaving. Scared enough for the both of us. Callum? Callum? This is back the way I came. I'm a butt. Well, it's not the way I came, but that just leads back to where I came from. Mommy is coming, Callum. I really think I should have shut the Ferris wheel off. It's so loud and spooky. Happy fun rides. I agree. Stay where you are. Holy crap. Why would I take the roller coaster ticket? Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, game. Why? Why is there a creepy little doll in here? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I can't handle this. Stuffs and stuff, Tom. Stuffs and stuff. Stop hiding, Callum. He's coming, mommy. He's coming, mommy. What? 
A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck All right, Sean. People. You give you up nine it. months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... The fuck is wrong with me? We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything. It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. What the fuck Stay is wrong right. with me? I don't like this. I can't even relate to the to no, I can't relate to her. I always wanted to write this one. Never got around to do it before. And you think now is the time? Okay, full disclosure, Aurora does not ride roller coasters. Mm -mm. Be right back, call him CPS. Oh gosh. He's in there! He's did want? you see him? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I that's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. Which has him now? Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. I don't want to be on this anymore. Just, just leave me alone. I don't like roller coasters. I don't Ooh, like roller coasters. You Guys. Always were. Well, get out, get, get! Oh my god. What am I doing? Oh my god. I don't like this. Hey, Dweeb, what's going on, buddy? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Stop! Stop! So, so, this is a little too submersive for me. A little too submersive. I am freaking the fuck out right now. Oh my god. You don't understand. Like, I don't know how it feels to watch this being played, but to play this, my insides feel like they're, I don't know, they feel funny. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ugh. It works. The calculations and adjustments worked. The transport and storage machinists seem to... Wait, no. Mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day. If only these people knew what they were fueling. And so, what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling down? So what if the children are something more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality, and such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. Oh, fuck that. Yay, more blurry. Yeah, that's my only complaint so far. And it may have been done intentionally. I don't know, but extremely blurry. Much pain in the ass. 
Alright, we need to get the fuck away from this roller coaster. I have a really bad horror story about the swing, so... The witch awaits. Yeah, no. I have a flashlight. I don't know how to use it. But I have one. How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh. Callum has bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. Oh my god, are we abusing they our are kid? watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. And there will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. Oh, there's no stairs there. Callum? Callum! Mommy, I'm scared. No Oculus. Ted. Callum, where are you? What are you scared of? What the fuck was that? Come back! All the breadcrumbs. Are you kidding me? We just got locked in here. The whole town was shocked by that one. <clears throat> Cotton candy corpse did. leaves sour taste in park goers. What the fuck is wrong with this place? Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy, Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will co- Why does it say cooperate? It's cooperate. Whatever. Cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates of this story going forward. Oh, fuck. I like cotton candy, yo. I hear footsteps. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Keep hey, Gavatron. Keep them away from me. My Evie. I can help you, Callum. Don't let the witch put me in the oven. There's so many noises in here, I can't even. This isn't a game, Callum! That corpse just moved. Oh, bastard. Who did this to him? Why? Oh my god! Son of a bitch! Ah! Ah! Son of a bitch! I hate you all. 
I'm glad she found that so funny. That scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Why? <sighs> <sighs> I'm okay. Pickled punks. Sideshow oddities. Things are about to get just a little bit weird. Laughing clowns. Put your balls in our mouths to win great prizes. <laughs> okay, that had to have been intentional. Balls in my mouth to win a prize. Like, what? Please, game. Oh, Alright. Um. Like a streaming schedule? It's 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. every day except for Tuesdays. The only reason I'm here is to do a game review. Because this game released today. Whack a jack. It scared me. Callum, Callum, don't let the witch put me in the oven. Take pills. Uh, these are mine. No clowns, dweeb. Where the fuck am I now? Are you better off than you were four years ago? Say no to graffiti, your mother. Not safe, the league. I can taste your dreams. Ugh. Fuck gravity. Is that... Wait, I can't read that one. Is a fat pig, but his daughter is hot. At first, I thought that said Leroy Jenkins. It says destroy reality. I, I clearly play way too many video games. Fear the boogeyman. Well, it actually says bogeyman, but you know. Stop picking your nose then. Don't believe anything they tell you. Future Times, Belly Button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every 17th child is a magnet for sinfulness. Made... <laughs> Ten shocks? Sweetie, we need to talk. Fucking A. Ten shocks, why?! Huh. We don't believe that the earth belongs to battered goats and shamrock after birth. What the fuck is this? Only the naked truth, wrens of righteous indignation, are severed by war cross cleavages in trust exercise arrhythmia. Beaumont will come to the island bearing the talisman, and he will shatter the seals that bind the earth something of corruption only then will the priest shoot sluts reveal housewives pontificate and delayed messiahs make axles for the rescue of tango and cash 
Sweet the temptress who gives the shaft whilst the shaft absconding with third I don't know age tears into fourth age darkness while God lie writhing on the shattered face of the earth Gala has sweetness and grace but her days are numbered in heavy fisted hives break before frozen wills and celegraphic actresses in pencil and paper pornography the all seeing eye will provide decade long updates on this story moving forward yep she's high Ten clearly has no love for the Rue. Not a bit. Oh. Oh. I feel weird. This is weird. All right, gates open. Get the fuck out of this thing. Okay, no. Park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I've always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Uh, that's where we came in. Oh, I see. We have to go into that great big mouth now. We are fucking batshit crazy, by the way. We've got some major post-traumatic stress or something. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Mommy, I'm scared! Game is freaky. You just know there's a jump scare waiting to kill me. And by kill me, I mean scare the shit out of me and give me a heart attack. Ah! Ah, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch, I hate you. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A uh, jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the. I can't read this. The something iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools scared of what they don't understand. 
My machines lie silent and something. Neglected, maybe? But I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors. I must think. Why? Oh, man. Why? I hate this so much. I wish things didn't startle me as easily as they do. Son of a bitch. Stay there. With that big fat butt. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's not helping. Huh. Oh gosh. I'm gonna cry. Not even playing. I'm gonna cry. Why? All the love is my butt. It's so mean. So mean. No love for Rue, I'm telling you. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Are we back at the beginning? Who said that? Incidents and I cannot dismiss them as random chance. The park works, but something is interfering with its intended function. It's as though the very air in the place is, is corrupting the power even as I collect it. 
few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on a st on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys. Wait, what? What was that? What was that? Where? No, 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 nope, nope. Don't care. Don't care. Not reading it. Nope, 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 nope. So much nope. Doors are opening. This is the way I came, yes? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. This is the way I came, right? Right? I don't even know. I'm so scared. Somebody hold my hand. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck you, game. Oh god, that was my shadow. Oh. Nightmare Circus. Circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk. Just as he shouts out a curse, now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Let's not. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. This kind of reminds me of Among the Sleep. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected. On... Uh, on will be disconnected... Or will be disconnected shortly. I, I, my only complaint about this game so far is like all the 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 letters that you have to read. There's a lot of them that are very difficult to read. I don't know if that's intentional or not. But I like to get a full immersion into a game. And yeah, this is it makes it difficult. Please do the following. Make payment listed on your last bill. Contact us at 555-7868 and we can arrange a payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe that this is an error, call us uh, on 555-7869 to discuss your options. 
If you are unable to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich Power Company. Shocking true story. Hunger. The true story of the Donners. Why does it have the Donner Party as gingerbread men? <laughs> On April 16th, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500-mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sup. It has become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world has ever seen. Now, our panel of Donner experts have unco uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. In this never-before-seen expose, read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages of this shocking true story. The Wilting. With this novel, Susan Anscombe cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of a generation. The Wilting, a solar flare has struck the earth, millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating, and an exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world, again. Dynamic, exciting, bombastic. Bombastic? Everything we came to expect from an Anscom novel. Chance O'Hara is back, and you'd better believe that she is bigger, better, and bolder than ever. This is ridiculous. Gavachon, thank you for that host, buddy. I appreciate it. Rubik's Cube. Yay. Mommy and me in car. Looking at the duckies. I love you from Callum. Show yourself. Cigarettes and a creepy doll and a cup of coffee. Read shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum, elect electricity bill, fix faucet. Yeah, we're definitely in our own mind at this point. Which can be creepier than most things. I'd rather deal with monsters than the mind of a crazy person. Water, chicken, wine, potatoes, apple. Interesting. Nine o'clock. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father all of those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write me asking for help? I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you. I truly did. But every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again. Karen.
Mrs. Maylard, as we agreed in our meeting today, we consider your full, you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines if you feel at any time you, that you are suffering a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health. Dr. Spencer, Dunwich Medical. Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that those episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine and continue, continues with her medication. We have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing and her employer Susie has said that she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from the institution. Rue, I think we're, uh, yeah, you shouldn't need read the Payday 2 Halloween map details. I shouldn't read them? Why? You know we're playing Payday, right? Lots and lots of Payday. Well, I mean, I am. I can't force you to do anything. Miss Mallard, our inquiry into the estate of Dr. Donald, Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State. The deceased parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son Callum. Unfortunately, there are no they are not receptive to our overtures and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that you no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this has a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I am not being too forward when I enclose the still for our services, the bill for our services with this letter. Edward Stapleton, attorney. No reason, Rue, you should just play it with me. Of course I'll play it with you. So yeah, this is totally like inside our own mind, which just makes me love this even more. Nightmare Circus, more pills, wait, let's read the pill bottle, can't. Not going to strain my eyes any more than I've already done. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and work, I don't know, something it. I think it is, I can't read this. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys though, and we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. I don't know. Town? We need to get back to 
something where I don't feel the like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about name for a boy or a girl's. I like Callum for a boy, Callum for a boy, and Emma for a girl. Yeah, exactly. And hey, G1, how are you? But yeah, if they had a read option or a zoom option or something, it would definitely be better. She hears... I'm doing well, thank you. Don't leave me. Don't Remember Take the pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organize the babysitter for Callum. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? You are a horrible mother. Please, make me see. I didn't run away, Dad took me. That wasn't creepy. Welcome back, Wolfie. Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. What? You're starting to think this place isn't quite right. What was your first clue, Ten Shocks? I mean, at the very least, it hasn't given me a jump scare in a while. I give it kudos for that. Bye bye, see her try. Or why? Bye bye med? Maybe? Yeah, her lie. Static TVs don't exist anymore? They don't. Well, I mean, they do. If you have an old TV, but... You can't use it without, like, an adapter or something, right? Milk, Zoloft prescription cheese, Zoloft prescription bread, Zoloft prescription butter, Zoloft prescription... Yeah, you get it. More pills, tickets to Atlantic Island Park. And then all there's in there is wine. Because we're a horrible mother, filthy alcoholic, full of drugs. Sorry, I have absolutely no, like, sympathy for parents that don't take care of their children, regardless of the reasoning. A History of Solomon Island. Wow. 
More pills. <clears throat> Happy carrot. Creepy guy. Holy shit. Keep waiting for that phone to ring. Just because that's like the typical horror game jump scare. My two best friends, Don and Laura. Baby, baby doll head. Didn't need to see that. Remember, you are alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. Aww. Poor Callum. He'd come live with Rue. The oh, fuck? That scared me. Burnt drawing of I love you. A shiv? Why do we have a shiv in the fridge? Get out of here, Caleb! <laughs> what is that? Is just my shadow? I can't see! Yomi's, I can't see! Yomi's, I can't see! No, like, panic is real right now. I can't see. And Caleb's trying to fuck with me. Okay. No, flashlight's an automatic thing. You don't get to, like, turn it on. It just turns on for you. As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you to be batshit fucking insane. Let's be clear, you are no way of sound mind and body and you're a danger to everybody around you. Please note that your only escape from this should be drugs. A shitload of them. Smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous. Take them any way you can and as often as you can. That shit can only make your life better. In case there were any doubts, you're suffering a relapse and nobody really cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up, Dr. Spock. Who knew Star Trek was so brutal? Because <laughs> it said Dr. Spock. Never mind. Don't make me look at it. See her lie, see him die, see her cry, see her try, say bye bye, ask her why, see him die. Hmm. 
my god, did we kill our kid? Forget Don, Dad, C2, not him. Tell me we didn't kill our kid. Stop! Stop it, kill. What have you done with him? You will watch me rot. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. The child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Give him to me! What have you done with him? Kids broke in here today. It's been so long since I heard laughter, so very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast, the others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh, this boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Eyes without sparkle. Show yourself. Leave me alone. Ansel and Gretel.
just know. <laughs> no! Lorraine, Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. <clears throat> In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. <laughs> 